Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, in a few moments, we're going to vote on a, a motion to instruct the conferees on the highway bill. It will be a motion uh, to instruct them not to proceed with a federal mandate that would force these long double trailers called twin 33s on the 38 states where currently they are illegal. And I, I would observe to my colleagues, Mr. President, that it is not often that we get a, a chance to vote on a motion that will accomplish so many things. We are going to get a chance in, uh, in 30 minutes or so to vote on a motion that will save lives. It is a motion that would prohibit a federal mandate. It's a motion that supports small business. It's a motion that would save $1.2 billion to $1.8 billion per year in highway maintenance, and a vote that is supported by the overwhelming majority of the American people. So this is a, this is a rare opportunity for us to come together on a motion that does all of those things. It's also a bipartisan motion to instruct. It will be sponsored by the senator from California, Senator Feinstein, and there will be uh, bipartisan votes for the motion uh, on, on both sides of the aisle. Now, why are we here? Uh, the motion is here because it stems from an amendment in the Appropriations Committee to the Transportation Appropriation Bill, which would require every state to allow these twin 33-foot trailers on federal aid highways. Um, currently, some 12 states do allow them. They have a right to do that. And, and if they made a considered decision in their state legislatures, le legislatures and with, uh, in, the, in uh, consultation with their uh, departments of transportation, then more power to it. But Mr. President, 38 states say these trucks are not safe. These trucks are too long. And they tell us we don't want them on the highways. I think we should respect that decision by these 38 states. Now, who supports the Wicker-Feinstein motion to, um, to instruct the conferees? And, and, and I go back to a point that this is a vote to save lives. Who says this? AAA says this. A respected nationwide organization that knows quite a bit about highway safety. AAA says support the Wicker Amendment. Don't mandate on 38 states something they want to do with these extra long trucks. And I would point out to you, Mr. President, here's an average passenger car here on this diagram. Look how much longer this proposed twin 33 double rig with the, uh, the tractor uh, part on, on, the, on the front. Look how much longer that is. You know, I frankly, the American people don't want to contend with these long double trailers on their, on their roads. The um, advocates for highway and auto safety say this isn't safe. So a vote yes on the Wicker-Feinstein motion would be a vote for safety. The National Troopers Coalition, we ought to listen to them, Mr. President. They say these trucks are not safe, and at the very least, let's don't mandate it from Washington, D.C. Now, uh, I would, in the time remaining, if members are back at their offices, if um, legislative staffs are back at their offices, they might call their local troopers in, in the various states, in the 50 states, see what the troopers say about this. I will tell you, troopers in state after state after state after state say, don't mandate these long trucks. Sheriff's associations say, don't mandate these long trucks. Chiefs of police say, don't mandate these long twin 33 double trailers. So now you ask yourself, well, now what does, what does a chief of police 
in a municipality have to do with this? Aren't we talking about interstate highway? Won't these just be on big old federal aid highways? Not true at all. Uh, I don't know uh, uh, about you, but in the place where I live, something comes in by truck, they bring it right into town. So the chiefs of police say, we don't want these twin 33s on our two lane streets. We don't want them on the two lane highways. That would be the result of the mandate that is con con uh, contained in the appropriation bill unless we turn that around. Who else is opposed to mandating twin 33s on 38 states that don't want them? State trucking associations. You'd think truckers would be for this. After all, uh, if you're big enough, you got enough money, if you're big enough trucking company, you can buy the truck, haul more, make more money. That's the idea of this. But we need to bear in mind, Mr. President, that most of the truckers in the United States of America are small business people. And frankly, some of them have told me, you pass this mandate on all 50 states without letting my state opt out, I'm going to go out of business. That's what they tell me. And so we have resolutions from the Mississippi Trucking Association, from the Arizona Trucking Association, from the Louisiana Trucking Association, and we have an alliance of small business truckers from states which include Indiana, Texas, Tennessee, Nebraska, Louisiana, Maryland, Washington, Iowa, Mississippi, Arizona, Pennsylvania, Oregon, and Arkansas, and I could go on and on. Trucking companies, small truckers in all of these states saying, please don't put us out of business by having us try to compete with these large twin 33s. And so, you know, I would submit to my colleagues, uh, 20 minutes from now, we're, we're going to, um, we're going to come in here and have a vote. This is the opportunity and the only opportunity that 100 senators elected by the people of the 50 states will have to address ourselves on this issue. This vote, which we're going to take in just a few moments, will send a strong signal to the people in some office here on Capitol Hill, in some room on Capitol Hill, where they are devising the omnibus appropriation bill. We need to send a strong signal to them that we don't want this mandate in the omnibus. We don't want the mandate in the highway bill. But I ne we need a strong vote, and this is a chance to show how we stand with small business in our states, with the troopers, with the sheriffs, with the chiefs of police, with the trucking associations, and with the advocates for highway safety. So I would urge my colleagues to thoroughly consider this in the next uh, 20 or 25 minutes. And when you come in here to vote, Mr. President, a vote yes will be a vote to avoid the federal mandate. I urge my colleagues to join me on a bipartisan basis, and I believe they will join me on a bipartisan basis in allowing the 38 states that opt out of this to continue to do so and making a stand for small business, for states, decision-making, and for safety. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.